Okay, for this one, we're going to go ahead and do a problem that is uh, we have to use long division for. So the first thing we need to do here is put it in a uh, division box form. So I'm going to put uh, the denominator right here and the numerator over here. Uh, 6d cubed plus d squared minus 2d plus 7. All right, now remember, um, you have two spaces here. So you're going to have to take up these two spaces here. And we always want to get rid of this number first. So first, we're going to look at how many times 2 uh, goes into 6, and that would be 3. Uh, and then how many uh, we need, how many d's, uh, d to what power we need to get rid of. So we already have d here, so we just need d squared to get rid of uh, d cubed. Because 1d right here, 2d's right here, add them together, they're going to be uh, able to subtract, uh, be taken away from d cubed. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. 2d times 3d squared is going to give me 6d cubed. And remember, the in division, you're subtracting right here. And then now I'm going to multiply the same thing by what it is over here. And uh, 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. Uh, and d squared is what's left over. So now this 6d cubed cancels each other out. Now we have d squared, my 1d squared, minus 9d squared, which is going to give me negative 8d squared. Remember, the d squared does not cancel out because that's its last name. The 9d squared is attached to it, so the d squared does not cancel out. So, like division, we're going to go ahead and drop our next number, which is negative 2d. Now we want to focus in on getting rid of this, the negative 8d squared. So, uh, 2 goes into uh, 8, negative 8, that should be uh, 4 times, actually a negative 4. So uh, 2 times uh, negative 4 is going to give me negative 8 uh, d squared, or I'm sorry, 4d over here. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it, 2 went into uh, negative 8, negative 4 times, but I forgot about the d. I want to get d squared, so I need another d over here. And then uh, remember, you are subtracting these, so these two subtraction symbols are going to make turn all these positive. So now we have 3 times uh, negative 4d squared, or negative 4d, which is going to give me negative uh, 12d. Now, in order for me to simplify this to make it better, so you can see that these negatives are touching, since the ne these negatives are touching, they're going to turn uh, to a positive, and so is this one, because it's a, the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase all the negatives down here, and turn them into positives, because that's pretty much what they are. Okay, so now we have uh, 8d squared negative 8d squared plus 8d squared, which is cancels out. And then we have 12d uh, minus 2d, or negative 2d plus 12d, which gives me 10d. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring down the last part. Uh, oh, by the way, sorry, mistake. This is a 17. Uh, so now we're just getting to that part, so it's okay. So bring down the 17. So we got positive 17. All right, so remember, we still want to get rid of this 10d. So how many times does 2d go into 10d? That's going to be 5. So a positive 5. Uh, it's going to be 10d. I don't need to add a d because I already have one over here. Uh, remember, it's subtraction. And then 3 times 5 is going to give me a positive 15. All right, these 10d's are going to cancel out. 17 minus, minus positive 15 is going to give me 2. I ran out of room. When I'm done with this, I don't add any more decimals. I don't add any more... Um, any more zeros after this. Um, this is my answer with this remainder, and let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put my answer over here, my quotient, 2d squared minus 4d plus 5, and for the remainder, I'm going to put it in fraction form. So the numerator is your remainder, and your denominator is always your divisor, which in this case is 2d plus 3. So it's just like division, you shouldn't have that hard uh, time doing it. And if you do, keep referring back to this video and uh, hopefully you'll figure out your steps that you're uh, going wrong at. Thank you.